In this lecture, we're going to be installing SharePoint 2019, and we're also going to be installing uh, 20, uh, sh uh, SQL Server 2017. So if we go to google.com, we just type in SharePoint 2019 download. The first link that comes up here, here, SharePoint Server 2019 public review details. So it's going to install a image. Uh, depending on your country. So we're doing the English one. So we're going to download it's 3.8 gig. So we're going to click on the download. So that's downloading. Um, that's 3.8 gig, right? The other thing we're going to do is download the SQL Server 2017 download. Type in your Google A search. Just type SQL Server 2017 download. Uh, the second one, open that up. And um, so Try SQL Server on-premise or in the cloud. Scroll down a little bit until you see the Express uh, SQL Server 2017 Express. Click on download there. Download that. Okay. Once you've downloaded both parts, uh, the first one is the Office Server, right? That one. So you right-click on it and you upload it, open it rather with 7-zip. You can extract files. Here, we actually extracted already files to this folder called SP2019 and 7-zip is a free WinZip program. It's better than WinZip actually, just 7-zip.org. Let me show you the website. So this is the program here, 7-zip.org. We're downloading the 64-bit. The this is what you download here. Being able to, because when you download that image, the SQL, or sorry, the SharePoint 2019, that is .img, right? And so how do you open that up, right? And you use this program. It's uh, called 7-zip. So before we install SharePoint, we need to put, uh, we need to install SQL. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna right click on it. And we're gonna run it as administrator. Yes. So we're gonna use the basic installation for SQL Server 2017. We're we'll click on basic. Yep, just click basic. Okay. Um, read all this information. Blah, blah, blah. Click accept. And we're going to be installing it and C program as Microsoft SQL Server. That's fine. Click install. It's going to download the uh, install package. Okay, it's downloading successfully from the internet, looks like, what it needs to be downloading. Okay, that's successful. Installation has completely been uh, completed successfully. So the Express, uh, SQL Express, where it's located, instance name, the where the SQL admins version, all that. Okay, so now that that's installed, we need to click on the install SMS. So that's what SQL, SQL Studio Management Server, I think it is. So we need to click on that. It's going to open up a like a website, uh, and you're going to download the uh, the file. It's like 800 gig or eight, I'm sorry, 800 meg, not 800 gig. Okay, so we're going to move this a little bit here. Okay, just going to scroll up a little bit. Scroll down a little bit. Okay, so we want to download the um, download SQL Server Manager Studio 17.9. Uh, Click on that and save as. We're going to save it to the downloads folder. Okay, it's 800 meg, right, roughly. So it's SMS setup. Right-click on it and click on Run as Administrator. We can close this one actually here. Let's close. Oh, wait, here it is. Yep, here it is. Okay. So, uh, to install, right? So, we're going to install the SQL Server Manager Studio. We're going to click Install. Okay. So, SQL Server Manager Studio is completed. Okay. So, you're looking for SQL Server Manager Studio. Yep, here it is right here. Okay. So, um, in doing this, right, we're going to click on server name. So we're going to click there or there, browse for more. The database engine, 
I click on the, the host name slash SQL Express, click OK. Windows Authentication, click Connect. So we're logged in, we are good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna install SharePoint 2019. Okay, so we've already actually taken our files for our SharePoint 2019 and we extracted them here. So let's click on the splash screen and let's install our software prerequisites. Click on that link. Okay, so let's click on next to install the SharePoint 2019 prerequisites. So I'm running into this issue here where it says Windows Server App Fabric Installation Error. So one of the forums actually talk about deleting the actually PS module path. So I'm going there and deleting that. So I'm going to delete that file right here. So it's under under the system properties and then environmental variables. So I'm going to rerun the software prerequisites. Okay, so that seems to have worked actually. So installation of the prerequisites for SharePoint are completed. So let's click finish. Now we're ready to actually install SharePoint server. So we click on the install SharePoint server link. Okay, we're at the point where we need to put a product key in. So when you downloaded it, you will get a, you got a product key down here, right here. So you put that product key in there and push continue. Accept uh, the terms of the agreement, continue. Leave everything default and click install. Okay, so next thing to do is run the SharePoint products configuration wizard. We're gonna click close and um, okay, you gotta reboot first. Okay, our server's been restarted. So let's start the uh, SharePoint services, SharePoint installation. Okay, start by going uh, right clicking on SharePoint 2019 products and configuration. Click on run as administrator. Yes, we're gonna click on uh, next. Welcome to the SharePoint. Okay, we're gonna have to reset those services. Click yes. We are going to create a new server farm. Next. Okay, so we're gonna put our information in. We're gonna put our database name in, our database server name, our username, and a password. So you remember probably earlier, um, the setting is actually for, if you go to SQL Server, the SQL Server Manager Studio, this is the name of the database actually. If you wanted to create another one, you would just go right click and you would do new database. And that would be the, the database name that you would put here in the uh, database server name. So we're gonna leave it like that and we're gonna click next. And this is really important. You should, you should really um, write this down because this is your very important uh, setting. And click next. Okay, we're gonna specify as an application or a single server farm. Let's click on single server farm and click uh, next. We're gonna leave this uh, default and push next. Okay, so leave that setting. This is how you get into it right here. Let's copy this and push next. Okay, so configuration is successful. Again, the central admin URL is listed here. Again, copy that down. Let's click finish. Okay, so it's gonna give you this site. After it's finished, it's gonna prompt you with this site. Um, this isn't gonna work if you try to log in. Um, obviously, so uh, ignore this, right? Just go to, let's just go to central admin and I wanna show you, I'm gonna validate that actually it's installed. So that's all I wanna do here. Go to start, then you're gonna go over to SharePoint 2019 central admin. You're just gonna right click and go run as administrator. Okay, you have successfully installed SharePoint. So thanks for viewing this tutorial.